So you've probably heard the term or phrase, there's an app for that at least once, right? Well, Ford took that to the next level and developed Ford Pass. And it is packed with lots and lots of cool things that you can do just from your smartphone. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up and some of the cool things that you can do with your new vehicle. Can't play Angry Birds though. Oh, you cannot. So before we do anything, we wanna do all the boring stuff. So you have to download the app. It's available both on Apple Store and Google Play, so you can use Android and Apple devices. And then you gotta make an account, password, all that good stuff. So once you're all ready to go, you go to My Vehicles, Add Vehicle, and then it's gonna ask you for your VIN number. What you can do is you can enter it manually or use your camera to scan your VIN code, which is located on the inside of your door. So once you get it scanned, it'll ask you to assign your vehicle to your account. So what you do is you press it, and you start your vehicle. A little box will pop up on your screen saying Riley Azen wants to use this, blah, blah, blah. And you just press yes. And then it'll either take a couple minutes, it might take an hour or two, might take a day or two. If you're having any issues with that, you can just stop by and one of our salesmen will be more than happy to help you out. So once you get it all set up, you'll have four menus. Vehicle controls, my vehicles, my dealer, and park. Let's start with my dealer first. We'll leave the other two until last. So let's set River City Ford as our preferred dealer. Let's go to dealer name, type in River, City Ford, search. Click on River City Ford, boom. Set as preferred dealer, success, alrighty. We'll go back to the My Dealer settings and as you can see here, it'll show you all your vehicles that you have cooked up on this app and you can either schedule a service by calling their number directly so you don't have to look up their number. You can get directions from anywhere in the city or the world or you can just go to their website so let's go to the park section. You click on the park section. What you can do is either you can GPS pin where you park your vehicle, and it'll also show you parking rates in different areas of the city. So let's just say you're going downtown. You wanna see how much it costs to park downtown. So downtown Winnipeg, South Portage. Okay, and then it'll show you whereabouts in South Portage you can park and different parking rates per hour in that area, which is really, really cool and really handy. You can also set preferred parking spots if you have one that you really like when you're going to work. You can also GPS pin where your vehicle is if you're in a busy mall. It'll show you where your vehicle is, where you pinned it, and you can search it using your phone and it'll show you whereabouts your vehicle is. So let's take a look at my vehicle. You can actually connect more than one vehicle that is eligible onto this one app on your one smartphone. So if you have two vehicles, that can go on this app, then you can install both of them on there. So let's head over to what I think is the coolest part about this app, vehicle controls. So as you can see on the menu, it has unlock, engine start, lock, and your gas gauge. In this case, this is a new escape, so it has less than 1% gas in it. So it has, what it says, 0%. But you can actually lock, unlock, and start your engine from anywhere in the world. Doesn't matter if you're in Beijing, if you're in Toronto, if you're next door at your neighbor's house, for whatever reason you want, you can unlock, lock, and start your engine from wherever. And I'm gonna demonstrate this. So I have a GoPro recording right there, recording everything I'm doing here. And so I'm not gonna set this up. I'm gonna head over to the Cineboy Downs parking lot, and I'm gonna start this vehicle here using this app. So let's give it a try. Let's see if it'll work. All right, so we're chilling in the Russian Boy Downs parking lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the engine start button for about three seconds. It'll start spinning. It usually takes about 30 to 40 seconds, but it should work in the end. There we go. It says it started. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call the dealership and see if somebody can go out there and check if it actually did start. Hello, this is Ryan. Hey Ryan, it's Riley. Hey bud, I'm still walking up to this escape. What do you need? Can you just go up to it and see if it started? Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's Right on, man. I'm all the way at the Cineboy Downs parking lot. I thought I'd try it out. Can you go up to the GoPro and give it a thumbs up? It's like sitting on one of the tailgates there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Awesome, man. Thanks a lot. So there you go. 12 blocks away, and I just started an escape using an app on my phone. Like I said, it's a little bit difficult to learn how to hook it up and stuff, so if you have any questions hooking it up, you just give us a call. Come by, see one of the salesmen. We'd be more than happy to help you. Till then, stay warm, stay safe.